สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n s a and it's the start of another week. It's Monday, June 12th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. Police investigators believe that the possible motive in an assassination attempt on a Russian man who was shot four times at Boat Avenue could be his business interests here in Phuket. The 44-year-old Russian national survived the June 7 attack that took place in Chengtelay at about 11:30 a.m. The victim was sitting in his car near the entrance to the Boat Avenue shopping complex when the suspect, who had been waiting at the complex on a motorbike, walked up to the vehicle from the front and shot four times through the windshield. The man was struck in the chest and upper arm, and the suspect fled on his motorbike, his face concealed by a red crash helmet. While the victim was taken to a local hospital to receive medical treatment, police have provided sparse, if any, updates on the man's condition. The next day, authorities detained a suspect in the case, a national of Kazakhstan of Korean origin, at the Phuket International Airport. He had overstayed his visa and was taken in for questioning, though police say he is denying any connection to the murder attempt. As of the recording of this broadcast, police say there have been no formal charges against the suspect related to the shooting, only for overstaying his visa. While police say they have retrieved the gun believed to have been used in the shooting, they have yet to confirm if they're able to conduct DNA tests to establish a connection between the arrested man and the shooting. Investigators now believe that the motive for the attack may be related to the Russian man's business interests in Phuket, especially within the restaurant industry, according to Kao Phuket, the Phuket News's sister newspaper in Thai language. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. The Bangkok Post is reporting that the Election Commission will dismiss four recent petitions, along with a request to dissolve the Move Forward Party after finding the petitions groundless. The dismissal of the petitions to dissolve the Move Forward Party was made while the eight-party coalition led by Move Forward goes about forming a new government. The petitions also dealt with the Move Forward Party's desire to amend or abolish Section 112 of the Criminal Code, better known as the Les m a j e s t e Law, according to a source quoted by the Bangkok Post. Although the Election Commission's latest decision appears to be good news for the party, analysts and legal experts say that's not the end of the party's problems. Jade Donovanek, a legal scholar and former advisor to a constitution drafting committee, said the Election Commission's planned inquiry into Move Forward Party leader Pita l i m j a n r o n r a t s alleged violation of Section 151 of the Organic Law on the election of MPs, for instance, will likely bring both advantages and disadvantages to the Move Forward Party. As the Section 151 matter will have to be forwarded to the court as a criminal case, the Election Commission will have the burden of proving Pita had violated the law, while Pita will have to defend his innocence. At a meeting of the Senate Committee scheduled for June 20th, the committee will review the Election Commission's order regarding its inquiry against Pita and discuss it in detail. On Friday, the Election Commission dismissed all petitions asking it to probe whether Pita's holdings of ITV shares made him ineligible to contest the election in the first place. Explaining that they were lodged after the qualifications of election candidates were examined, political activist r u n k r a i l i k e w a t a n a who had lodged the petition against Pita in the first place, he said he will formally appeal against the election commission's decision to dismiss his petition. r u n k r a i said he has solid evidence to prove that Pita has held 42,000 ITV shares since 2008, which made him ineligible to contest the election. Last week. Pita said he had already transferred the 42,000 shares in ITV he inherited from his late father well over a decade ago to his relatives to preempt any attempt to revive the company and use it as political ammunition against him. The news comes as a video was released over the weekend, allegedly recorded by an ITV shareholder, and parts of it shown by TV Channel 3 late on Sunday night. The recording of the annual shareholders meeting was said to contradict the official minutes of the meeting and drew an immediate and strong public reaction. For more. Visit the phuketnews.com. I was sure that it'll be easier to clear you from my mind. I wish you'd fall out from the window, take a bad trip to the ground. Ooh, you bring the pressure, see the pressure just before you break a bone. Despite media reports, officials from Krabi have stated that the dangerous blue bottle f i s a l i a also known as Portuguese Man of War, has not been found on PP Islands yet. Concerns were raised last week by Phuket lifeguards regarding Portuguese Man of War, sparking worries about the potential threat to tourists on PP Islands. However, these allegations were dismissed over the weekend by the chief of the PP National Park, 
A survey was conducted following news of the highly venomous hydrozoan being found on some beaches here in Phuket, but the result was negative according to the Bangkok Post. National park officials in PP failed to find any Portuguese man of war on the popular tourist islands part of Krabi province. Portuguese man of war, sometimes erroneously called jellyfish, were washed up on Phuket beaches, including Patong, Naiharn, Kata, Katanoi. The Phuket Lifeguard Service shared on Facebook several pictures of the blue bottles, clearly illustrating that more than one or two had been found. Lifeguards advised that anyone stung should seek assistance from the lifeguards on the beach or go to a medical facility. People were urged to limit self-treatment to washing the injured area with seawater and removing any visible tentacles. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Over 6,000 runners from more than 43 countries pounded the pavement for the 17th edition of the Super Sports Laguna Phuket Marathon this past weekend, which saw competitive racing and personal bests all around. Day two of the marathon on Sunday saw thousands of runners, new and old, converge at the starting line at Laguna Grove. Russia's Artem Sekachev finished first in the full marathon, more than five minutes ahead of second place finisher Waiwei Tongte from Thailand. In the women's division, the racing proved much closer and it became a podium battle amongst Thai and Aussie runners. With just two minutes separating the top three at the finish line, it was Nuntapon Tengan Muay who claimed the crown in a time of 3 hours, 38 minutes and 33 seconds, ahead of Wanarat Jiti Wutunan in second. Little separated the runners in the male half marathon. Sergei Zirianov from Russia got off to a fast start and held on to take the win in a time of 1 hour, 17 minutes and 25 seconds, with Japan's Sota Maihara coming in second. In the women's division, Australia's Haley Newman outran a tough field to finish with a winning margin of 4 minutes over second place finisher from the United States, Lindsay Nickel. The Super Sports Laguna Phuket Marathon is one of the biggest destination marathons in Southeast Asia and a qualifying event for the Boston Marathon. The dates have already been set for next year, with the 18th Super Sports Laguna Phuket Marathon taking place on June 8th to the 9th, 2024. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Thanks for starting off your week with us here at Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.